I keep something in my car at all times that I think every driver could benefit from, and that's a portable jump starter. I used to say that everyone should keep a set of jumper cables in their vehicle, but now I recommend one of these instead. And that's for two reasons. First, these are a whole lot safer to use than jumper cables, and second, they're a whole lot easier to use than jumper cables. But before I explain why that's true, let's take a look at the one I have, its features, and why I really like it. This is the S Zebzo Portable Jump Starter. And we're going to open this up and see what's inside. And here's the actual jump starter. As you can see in proportion to my hand, it's not very big. It's very lightweight. It only weighs about 11 ounces. This would be very easy to store in your glove compartment or your console. And just to give you an idea as far as its size, to the left of it is an iPhone 14 Pro, and to the right of it is an iPhone 8 Plus. Now let's look at the controls and buttons. On the side is an on-off button. This is the function button. And these are power indicator lights that show you how much charge is left in the jump starter. I'm going to see how much power there is in the unit like it is, just straight out of the box. Turn that on. I get three lights, so that's 75% charged and it just needs to be charged a little bit longer to get it up to full capacity. On the back is a flashlight and that's controlled by the function button on the front. So if I push and hold this button that turns on the flashlight and the flashlight has three modes. First is just a regular flashlight. If I press it again it flashes an SOS signal. If I press the button again then I get a strobe effect. And then press the function button again and hold it and it goes off. On the back it says the starting current is 600 amps and the peak current is 1000 amps. It has a capacity of 47.36 watt hours and on this end there are two outputs and there's one input that's a USB-C input and that is where the charger goes to charge up this unit. These are two regular USB ports and you can use those for whatever you want to charge. You can charge your phone, your iPad, whatever. So those can come in very handy. Output 1 is rated at 5 volts and 2.1 amps and output 2 is rated at 5 volts and 1 amp. But either one is great to have to charge your cell phone. So you can use this as a power bank if you need to. Under this dust plug is where you plug in the jump starter cables. Here are the cables that are included in the box. The jumper cables are made so that they can only be plugged in one way. So you can't get that wrong, which is good to know. And you push them all the way in and it immediately starts flashing green. The USB-C charging cable is also included, but you will need to provide your own power supply. Also in the box are the instructions. The portable S Zebzo jump starter is rated to be used with gas engines up to 7 liters, which is 427 cubic inches. It's also rated for an up to 5.5 liter diesel engine, which is roughly 336 cubic inches. So that should handle the vast majority of most drivers' vehicles. And besides its very convenient size and charging capacity, something I really like about this unit is how safe it is. These are ultra safe smart clamps and they provide you with spark proof protection, zero damage protection, low high voltage protection, over temperature protection, short circuit protection, and jump starter timeout protection. So there's virtually nothing you can do wrong that would damage the circuitry in your vehicle or in the jump starter. I'm also impressed that it says it can give over 40 jump starts once once it's charged. Anytime you leave it in the on position it will slowly discharge so always turn it off when not in use and turn it off when charging. This unit came 75% charged so I'm going to plug in the USB-C cord down here and get it fully charged and then I'm going to show you how easy and safe this is to use. It's fully charged now so let's try it out. And the owner's manual said that your jump starter should be at least at 50% capacity before you try to jump start another vehicle. To use it you turn it on with the button on the side. There's the four power lights and then you fully insert the jumper cables into the socket all the way and it's flashing green and that means it's properly connected to the jump starter. Then you connect each of these cables to the corresponding terminal on the battery. The red cable is for the positive terminal so it goes to the positive terminal on the battery and it has a plus on it. The black cable has a minus on it. It's the negative cable 
and it goes to the negative cable on your battery. So open up the clamps, remove any covers you have to, get those out of the way, and attach the cable. I've got the positive cable attached. Now I've attached the black cable to the negative terminal on the battery, and the light is a steady green. That means you're ready to go ahead and jump start the vehicle. So if this was a bad battery, I'd get in my car now and turn the ignition on to start it. And after your engine starts, it blinks green rapidly, so take off the cables from your battery. And you're all done. And then turn off the jump starter and remove the cables. But because my battery isn't really dead, that wasn't a good demonstration of what this jump starter can do. So I'm going to disconnect these terminals from my battery. Yeah, I know that's going to reset my clock, but that's okay. And then I'm going to hook the jump starter cables to the loose cable ends, and we're going to start the engine using just the jump starter with no help from this battery, just like it would be if you had a dead battery. I've got the negative cable off. I'm going to move it to the side of the battery out of the way and the positive cable is off now chargers on it's flashing green so now I connect it to the ends of these cables they're both hooked up I've got a solid green light I'm gonna go start it and it started and it worked just like it was supposed to and if you're using this and all of a sudden you get a red light and a loud beep that means something is wrong. It could be that you've connected the cables to the wrong post on the battery, but don't worry, that warning light will let you know you've done something wrong and it does have the reverse polarity protection. It could also mean the cables have overheated and you need to quit using the unit, turn it off and let it rest for a while. And if the ends of these clamps would touch each other, the alarm would also go off. But remember, it has short circuit protection, so no harm will come to these cables or the jump starter. Just separate them and the alarm will go away. And back to the reasons why I think this is much better than this. First of all, safety. With all of this portable jump starter's built-in protections, you're not going to damage your car's electronics, which can and does happen with jumper cables. When you have two batteries connected together by these cables, and the engine starts, that creates a power surge. And sometimes that power surge can fry your electronics in your vehicle. And that's a very expensive repair. So this is much safer for you and for your vehicle. And the second reason I recommend this jump starter is convenience. If you're somewhere and your battery dies, you can grab this and jump start your own vehicle and get on your way. Very simple, very easy, very safe. But if you just have jumper cables and you have a dead battery, you have to find someone else to jumpstart your car. You have to call someone, you have to call a service, or you have to ask a stranger to help you. That's not always safe. This is always safe. And after using this S Zevzo jump starter, I would really recommend it to you. They're actually very affordable. The size makes them easy to store in your vehicle somewhere and this product does what it says it will do. There's a link in the description below that will take you to an Amazon page where you can buy one for yourself. And I want to thank the S. Zebzo company for making such a good product and for allowing me to test it out and for sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and jumpstart your vehicles the safe way with a portable jump starter. Bye.